Today, I'm gonna share with you my February 2021 debt snowball update. Let's go. What's up, beautiful people? My name is Lakeisha Pinkney, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you are returning to my channel, thank you for being a part of the tribe. If this is your first time, I hope you find value in this video and subscribe. I'm a single mom with two little girls trying to maneuver through this world, and I like helping other single moms like me. I talk about budgeting, side hustles, frugal tips, and as an occasional haul here or there. Okay. Now, let's just jump right on in. Um, let's see. My starting debt is... Let me turn this a little bit. $31,925.98. Okay. We're getting on down. You know what? Writing that down makes me kind of want to reflect. Let's flip back to December. Let's see. What was my starting debt in December? That might give me some some encouragement. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, my starting debt in December was $36,658.37. Mm. Sis, that makes me feel good. $31,925.98. $5,000 done. Yes, yes, yes. Makes me feel good. Whew. So let's just keep it moving. Because like I said in the last video, 2020, 2021, some things are going to happen. Big things are happening in 2021. All right. So, of course, I'm just going to put a little smiley face here. 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 Because it is paid out. Boom, boom, boom. It is done. And I'm going to leave it on here. And every one that whenever it's completed, I'm going to leave it so I can put a smiley face all the way across. Because that helps me to see what has been accomplished. And I'm excited about that. Ad. Okay. Let's see. My balance for all south. And y'all, I'm going to try to knock this out. If this month... The end of this month, it'll probably be beginning of next month. So I'm trying to file my income taxes sometime this month. But I gotta get get myself together and my paperwork so I can make my, my appointment because I'm trying to get rid of this right here. I'm trying to get rid of this. And I'm really the crazy thing about it is after I pay off my little van. I might sell it because I haven't been getting the best performance that I want. And the great thing is I only paid $4,500 for it, but it's valued at about, well, when I purchased it over a year ago, it was valued at, it was valued at like $8,000. So I'm sure it is appreciated a little. But if I can make at least $1,000 so profit, I may just sell it. I don't know. I could sell it and use that money to pay off my other car. I don't know. But y'all y'all talk to me. Let me know in the comments. Should I work with my little van? Should I let it go? Because I don't want to have to keep trying to get something fixed. Because um, right before I did the last um, that Snowball update. No, right after it, after it. My check engine light came on. And um, that made me a little nervous. So it's parked. And I got to put it in the shop. But... We'll see. I just don't like making, um, not making car payments. I don't have an issue with that if it's running. But I do not like having to constantly get a car fixed. So I might just let it go. So what do y'all think? Should I work with my little van? It is a Honda Odyssey and Hondas make good vehicles. Or should I let it go? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so the minimum payment for, for All South, I think it's around 164 But because I'm not paying on Discovery anymore, I'm going to make this $300. 
because that's the debt snowball method. Once you pay one off, you take funds from that one and you put it on the next one. So like snowballs, okay? So fix that, make that a little bit better. That is a six. Okay, so, so that's what I'm actually going to pay. So Lowe's. Lowe's, the balance for that is $3,324.43. Um, and I believe the minimum payment for this is $35. But I usually pay $130. Because I'm at 0% for the next few months. And I did the math to see what I would have to pay to get it paid off. But I do have a portion that I have to pay off um, by the summer. But my goal is to pay all this off before before July, August. But I got to get this paid off first, and then I can attack this one. So I can have it paid off by the summertime. Um, all right, my student loan is 4592 dollars. 52 cents. Now, I'm pretty much caught up on this one. Um, the minimum payment for this one is 106. But I just got caught up on this one, so I'm not going to pay anything this time. I'm not going to pay anything this time. Okay, Bank of America. And thank God this is at 0%. Whew. Amen. 9357 dollars Now, I probably will not have this paid off by the summer because it expires in the summertime. But around April and May, I'm gonna be looking for a card that I can transfer that over oh, that nine thousand. Or by then it'd probably be eight, seven something over to so that I can get it paid off without interest. So that is a tip. Um, sis, that is a big tip. If you have a card on 0% and it's getting close to the expiration date, because normally what's been my experience, y'all can tell me different in the comments, that they will not extend it. If you got one of those promotional rates to Bank of America, one of those big car companies, um, and I just find another card, because I'm getting them in the mail all the time, just transfer that amount over, okay? Because I'm just a firm believer in credit card, 0%. 0%. I'm not giving them interest. I just can't do that. So, so that is 106. Let me see. Did I get this mixed up? I got two 106s. <laughs> Let me look back. I don't think both of those are 106. Let me see. Oh, 135. Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm not paying it this time anyway to get my white out i thought that looked weird because i'm like i know i don't have two that are 106 okay so that's 106 my car payment twelve thousand eight hundred twenty six dollars and 64 cents okay and that monthly payment is $43.83. That's what I pay every month. All right, so let's go ahead and crunch the numbers. Uh, ending balances, ending balances are right, all south $1,525.39. Lowe's $3,194.43. Student loan $4,592.52. Bank of America $4,592.52. Okay, 
Bank of America credit card, nine thousand two hundred fifty one dollars. Car, twelve thousand three hundred forty two dollars and eighty one cents. Okay, I hope that came out right because my calculator looks like it's about to be on the fritz. Three thousand nine hundred six dollars fifteen cents. Ooh, ooh. We coming on down, y'all. We coming on down, y'all. So let's see how much I paid off this month. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Fresh Prince. Uh, all right, minus three thousand nine oh six fifteen. All right, look at that, y'all. Paid off one thousand nineteen dollars and eighty three cents this month. Woo -hoo. When I was estimating. I knew it was going to be close, but I realized it was going to be just over by a few dollars. Whoop, whoop. That is a win, 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 win. Yes. So, this is what we have paid off for the month. So excited. I'm going to put a big smiley face right here. <laughs> I got my little sticker here, Faith Over Fear. Um, so excited about getting out of debt and if you like this sticker here go to um megan's shop on etsy her courage to plan she has awesome sticker sets um because i have been a little fearful lately and not just in finances but in other areas of my life but i, I I'm, I'm getting back on track and i'm gonna try not to cry but i have had to realize which I know that God is number one and he's in control. But sometimes you just get afraid. But I know in my heart, God's going to help me. God is going to help me. He's going to be the bridge over troubled waters. So, so here we go. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that moment, guys. <laughs> but um, that sticker really means a lot to me this time. It really means a lot. Okay, debt payoff plan. Now, I'm going to try to file my, um, make sure y'all can see that. I'm going to try to file my income taxes. File my taxes around the end of February. Usually by the end of February, I have my return. But this year, I've been a little slow. Okay, so I know that there have been some tax changes and I, that's one reason I've been kind of waiting off a little bit because somebody said something about some um, changes for for children, for dependents, but I couldn't remember what it was. So I need to call my tax preparer to see what it is because I want to file my taxes after, well, before, no, before, but after it becomes activated, if whatever that new plan is, if it's going to benefit me and give me some extra money to pay off this debt. <laughs> so if you know what it is, <laughs> put it in the comments. <laughs> what? <laughs> What is the government giving us this time? I think it was like an extra $3,000 tax credit. I can't remember. But y'all, help your sister out. Please put it in the comments if you remember. So that's what I'm going to do. So by the end of March, I'm going to have paid off. Put that in bold print. My plan is to have all soft paid off. And my um, student loan, I know for sure, which I should go to, based on the debt snowball method, I should go to Lowe's, but because it says 0%, I um, may hold off and just jump to my student loan because I think my student loan is around, around 4%, and it's long overdue. I want to pay off my all-south. All and I want to um, probably skip Lowe's because it's at 0% and pay off that student loan because it is long overdue. I, I got to pay that off and then have, um, then pay off my Lowe's by the summertime. So, so this is March. So this is going to be y'all and y'all know I love some basketball. 
We got some March Madness going on over here. It's going to be really some March Madness. Woo! Getting these bills paid off. It's going to be some real, <laughs> some real March Madness going on. So, so that is it. This is the plan. And, um, hopefully it will work out. Well, faithfully, it will work out. Because with God, I know all things are possible. Because I can't make without him, y'all. <laughs> I just can't. But um, thank you all so much. And if you have found value in this video, if it has uplifted you, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. I would truly appreciate it. It would definitely help my channel to grow. We are almost at 500, y'all. Whoop, whoop. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to 500. That's a milestone. Um, so I'm happy about that. But um, y'all take care of yourselves and it's 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 just tough out there, y'all. Just take care of yourselves, put God first, and remember, take care of your money and your money will take care of you. See you guys in the next one. Bye.